Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the crazy glitches possible in iOS 12. And yes, iOS 12 is still in beta. So of course, all of these are going to be fixed before the official launch. But it's always fun to see how many glitches come about in the future and how many fixes Apple implements before the official launch. So let's get right to it. So this first one is in control center. It's kind of funny. You know, we can 3D touch on these platters here and you can get additional options, of course, within the toggles, within the icons here. Check out the timer here. Nothing moves at all. No timer can be set. You can try to go up and down here and the control toggle 3D touch action does not work. We can play with the start button here and try to get it to go and it won't even start the timer. This next one, let's say we're in Safari and we invoke the notification center right here. And we wanna to go to the camera, press on the camera, check out the camera view. It is completely off, nothing is really working here properly. You can still see the camera moving in the background, all that good stuff, but you have just the timer and right here what I think it's the filters and that's it. No camera buttons, no nothing. Funny one there within control center in iOS 12. So inside of the phone app, if you're making a phone call, right here it is, it's making a phone call. If I hang up and I go over to the app switcher, that particular panel there doesn't go away, it just stays there the whole time. So you can't really quit the app or you do quit the app, but the panel right there itself just doesn't go away. So that's another uh, glitch there in iOS 12 for the app switcher. So just the other day it was raining, so I was taking a picture of the raindrops as they fell on the roof of my car because it is glass. And uh, I went to take a live photo to implement live photo, you hear the rain? So I went to take this live photo to implement it. And when I go to activate a live photo from the rain, live photos do not work within the lock screen, which is unfortunate because I was hoping to set this as my wallpaper. As you can see there, live photo moving. If I go here, it's not working. So live photos not working in iOS 12. It's a little bit upset to know that this was happening because as I mentioned, I took the picture of the rain and I thought it was kind of cool and I can't really implement the wallpaper that I created myself. This issue also exists within Apple's live wallpaper. So we have these live wallpapers from Apple. These don't work either. So it's not just live photos, but live wallpapers as well. And last but not least, I want to talk about the carrier settings on your phone. Check this out. You can actually delete or get a delete button on some of these settings here for the carrier. This is not good. Now you can't actually delete the settings, but it's just funny to see that these say delete, like if you was to delete those settings. If you do try that and you do delete one of those settings, you'll probably have to restore your phone, but I've tried deleting them and it doesn't work, but it's kind of funny to see the glitch there as well. Just a few glitch I wanted to share with you guys as more come about and as Apple fixes these, I'll be following up with you guys. So be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Click that like button if you like these videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you really soon. Peace.